In Field Trips, Stuart Dybeck talks about how in grade school he only went on two field trips, to the Bridewell House of Corrections in Cook County Jail and to the Stockyards. The first field trip was not your normal kind of field trip. Cool for some kids, but also very scary for the others. The second field trip is fun because they got to see the animals, pet the animals, and feed the animals. I remember a few of my field trips from elementary school that I took on the big yellow school bus. In the fourth and fifth grade, there are two field trips that I remember taking. One of them was to the fish hatchery in Leeburg, Oregon, because in my classroom, I had a tank full of salmon eggs, and about a month after they hatched, I took them to the hatchery to set them free and to learn more about the other fishes that they have there. While I was there, I got to feed some of the biggest fishes that I have ever seen. I also got to play a game while I was there that helped me learn the different parts of the fish's body. The fish hatchery was so much fun when I went to it that whenever I drive through it with my seven-year-old niece, we like to stop and feed the fish. Field trips don't always have to be scary. It gets students out of the classroom every once in a while, and two, it gets a little more hands-on without using a textbook. I learn better in a hands-on way because being more hands-on helps me remember things a little more rather than learning it from a textbook. I am looking forward to going on a college field trip to the art museum because I haven't been on a field trip since middle school, and I am never too old to go on a field trip and learn something new.